The chemicals is the other one we want to shine the spotlight back up again, back on again. Sonal is here with that. Sonal. Uh, well, Tata Chemicals, numbers looked weak on a YY basis. There was a revenue decline, then EBITDA decline. Revenues were down 10%, EBITDA declined 45%. The margins were lower by almost 900 basis points. Profits were down 67% as well. But the positive this time is that there's a quarter-on-quarter -quarter recovery in margins. Uh, margins came in at 15% versus 13% on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. Now, if we talk about the segmental breakup, the basic chemistry business saw revenue growth of 17%, but EBIT there declined by 62%. In the specialty products, revenues were down 1.6% and EBIT was down 8% as well. The net debt has increased and the company says that is because of working capital requirements. In their commentary, the management says that in India, demand was stable across all end-use industries. Demand for flat ga glass, container glass and solar glass is robust. In America, demand is flat, but in Europe, it's muted. But a positive comment came on Turkey because Turkey, remember, had been dumping a lot of soda ash at lower prices, leading to lower pricing. They say that competition from Turkey may decrease due to higher shipping costs. So that's a positive. Net debt uh, increased because of higher working capital loans and capitalization of leases. Uh, so it's a weak number on a YY basis, but sequential recovery is a positive. Also remember, Tata Sons has become debt-free because of some uh, receipts they have from TCS. And this indicates that there's no IPO for Tata Sons, which, is possible, uh, which would, uh, they would go ahead with. So the Tata Group also is in focus. Okay, all right, uh, Sonal, thank you very much uh, uh, for that. Uh, so uh, something to keep an eye out on. But uh, 